Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That. Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That. We're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. So today we're going to be doing another Tech Tuesday, but it's going to be that double up Tech Tuesday that has to deal with your 3D uh, printer, but this is the uh, CR6 Creality Max. Um, and as we said in other uh, past videos, this is a printer that we're trying to get out a little bit more information on. I mean, there's a lot of you know printers out there that you guys use that you guys like, uh, but um, this one hasn't had too much you know as far as feedback, tips, things like that. There's very few on YouTube currently and other um, social media platforms. But what today what we're going to be talking about and trying to help you guys out there is there's been many many questions in regards to splicers for these and people have had a lot of issues trying to use some of the splicing um the the other splicers that are out there and there are quite a few out there and there's a lot of great ones we're going to show you one real quick so here's ultimaker uh cura um it's another splicing platform so this is just one of them um we're not going to show you all of them but Pretty much all of them do have this this issue with the CR6 Max because the CR6 Max is fairly new. So of course, like with anything, it takes a little bit for some of these um, other software manufacturers or companies to actually upgrade or put that CR6 Max into their splicing platform. So what the problem is, is the CR6 Max printer, 3D printer is not loaded onto Ultimaker uh, currently and many of the other platforms out there and we're, we're seeing a lot of questions here well my splicer isn't splicing correctly i can't find the cr6 max but i can find the cr6 you know max 10 i can find all the other you know all the other ones and and believe me there's a lot of of them except for the cr6 max so when you go to splice something it's not going to splice correctly or it's not going to put on your bed correctly it's not going to level it's going to have issues so totally avoid from that so long story short, what you want to do is Creality actually has their own splicer and it actually works really well. We use that splicer for everything that we print on the CR6 Max. So in uh, future episodes too as well, we're going to get into other free um, sites too that where you can download templates, things like that and show you some of the issues there why some things don't download there i mean there's there's all kinds of stuff that we could get into again make sure you do comment so if there's something that you see that you're held up on we probably either ran into it or we can you know resolve it for you uh, but in regards to this just go ahead we'll show you on creality's uh, page where to download their splicer works really well just go ahead just download it um download it put it on there and tinker with it and you'll see that it works really well and if you guys get into it and you have an issue again let us know and we'll try to help you out with that so as you see here we are on creality's site uh cr6 max user manual um this is where you want to download anything that you feel is fit for your cr6 max that you may be in question about of course this the splicer is here um so you'll see the slicing software is all right here so depending upon what you you know what kind of computer system you have you will just want to download that and load it into your system and it's ready to go so again simple fix uh, just download this on creality's website uh, and it will work perfectly fine and it actually there's a lot of extra added features to this that many of these other platforms as i said don't even have the cr6 max on them and even if they did download it they may not have everything loaded into their system yet uh, but as of yet 2022 there is nothing else out there but creality's site that has the cr6 max so just go ahead download it should be good to go once you get that done so if there's anything else on future videos, let us know again. And we hope this helps you as far as the, with your slicing and preparing your 3D molds.